In this lesson, we are going to learn about factor theorem, which is a fundamental tool in solution of polynomial equations in algebra. Factor theorem states that x minus a is a factor of the polynomial f of x if and only if f of a is equal to 0. Let us assume, so assume, assume that g of x is the quotient, is the quotient and r is the remainder, r is the remainder when f of x is divided divided by x minus a. Then obviously we can write f of x equal to x minus a time g of x plus r. This is exactly same when 15 is divided by 4 and we have 3 as quotient and then this 3 is the remainder. So this 3 is called the quotient Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T and 15 which is f of x, 15 can be written as 3 time 4 plus r whatever is the remainder which is 3 in this case. Just the same way, here f of x is equal to x minus a times g of x plus r. Now, in statements like this, where if and only if is involved, we assume one part and we prove the other part, and then vice versa. Now, we are going to assume that x minus a is in fact factor of f of x. Now, we assume assume that x minus a is in fact factor of f of x is in fact factor of f of x and we will prove that f of a is equal to 0. If x minus a is a factor, then x equal to a is a root. If so, then x equal to a is root is root of equation f of x equal to 0. If that is the case, then f of a must be equal to 0. So to say, f of a is equal to 0, which is exactly what we need to prove, which is which is exactly what we need to prove. So we assumed that x minus a is a factor and we proved that f of a is equal to 0. Now conversely we are going to assume that f of a is in fact equal to 0 and we will prove that x minus a is a factor of f of x. Conversely, conversely, let f of a is equal to 0. Then, if that is the case, then that means 
f of a is in fact equal to r, it means remainder is equal to 0, then r is equal to 0 because because r is equal to f of a by remainder theorem. If that is the case, then from equation 1, then from equation 1, f of x is equal to is equal to x minus a x minus a time g of x plus 0 because that's remainder r. f of a being equal to 0 means r is equal to 0 due to remainder theorem as we discussed before. But doesn't this leave f of x equal to x minus a time g of x but this is exact definition of x minus a being factor of f of x. This means, this means f of, uh, x minus a is factor, factor of f of x. So this proves the factor theorem. And now we are going to solve few questions. In this question, we are required to use factor theorem to determine if the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. Here, we have the first polynomial x minus a is equal to x minus 1. So here, example 1. The x minus a is x minus 1 and the second polynomial is x square plus 4x minus 5. Given that f of x is equal to x square plus 4x minus 5. Now we will calculate f of 1. If f of 1 is equal to 0, then we can say because of factor theorem that x minus 1 is factor of x square plus 4x minus 5. Since f of 1 is equal to 1 square plus 4 times 1 minus 5 equal to 1 plus 4 minus 5 equal to 0. So x minus 1. So x minus 1 is factor of factor of the given polynomial. Given polynomial. And in another question which is given there we will prove that w plus 2 is equal to so w plus 2 here the next example example 2 here it's w plus 2 and the second polynomial is 2w cube 2w cube plus w square minus 4w plus 7 plus w square minus plus w square minus 4w plus 7. Here f of w is given given f of w is equal to 2w cube plus w square minus 4w plus 7 and we will find out f of minus 2 since f of minus 2 
f of minus 2 which in fact is remainder if this is equal to 0 then w plus 2 will be factor of the given polynomial since f of minus 2 equal to 2 time minus 2 cube plus minus 2 square plus 4 time minus 2 plus 7 is equal to 2 time minus 8 plus 4 minus 8 plus 7 means this will be minus 16 plus 4 minus 8 plus 7 and this is not equal to 0 is not equal to 0 so w plus 2 is not a factor so w plus 2 is not a factor is not a factor of f of w so this is how we can find out if the given polynomial is a factor of the other polynomial by finding the value of the polynomial at indicated point and if that, that remainder is equal to 0 then the given polynomial is factor otherwise it's not.